I am Mary Spittler and I am an assistant director at the Veterinary Medical Center and I am director of marketing and business development. The primary purpose of the facility is actually threefold. Um, one is to educate fourth year, what we like to call graduating professional students, um, as well as interns and residents. Uh, the second purpose, well there's no real order, but the <laughs> second purpose um, is advancing animal health, animal health and well-being and serving the animal owning community, uh, providing high quality advanced medical care. Um, the last purpose, if you will, uh, is research, last and certainly not least. At any given time, I mean, there are hundreds of research studies going on uh, between, within the College of Vet Med, between preventive medicine, uh, biosciences, and clinical sciences. The VMC, predominantly clinical sciences, although we work with the others, um, and we work with human uh, medicine. Um, like for our clinical trials office alone, as part of the VMC, handles 50 plus uh, trials annually. Um, the Veterinary Medical Center at Ohio State is comprised of five different hospitals. Um, we have the Companion Animal Hospital, the Farm Hospital, the Equine Hospital, Galbraith Equine Center. Uh, we have a facility, a satellite facility in Dublin, Ohio, uh, where we have a few specialties and an urgent care. And to our knowledge, the only veterinary urgent care <coughs> in town so far. Um, and then we recently opened our standalone primary care. Uh, the Frank Stanton Spectrum of Care Clinic. So should your animals have a need, um, you can either be referred by your general practitioner or you, you don't necessarily need a referral, uh, but we are a referral med medical center in terms of uh, offering advanced care. Because we are a tertiary 24-7, 365 emergency and critical care hospital, um, we don't typically open it up to outside visitors other than customers. Um, however, that being said, we do offer continuing education to our referral partners, the referring veterinarians in general practice. Um, we have our own CE for internally for faculty and staff, like the veterinary technicians. And if we do any tours uh, per se, we, it would be donors and um, new students coming in who are, are thinking about uh, the veterinary program. We are known for our excellence in advancing uh, animal care um, as well as human care. We are also known for our clinical teaching. Uh, we are ranked fourth in the United States by U.S. News & World Report among veterinary teaching hospitals, something we are very proud of. We, you know, we like to consider the, uh, the cases that walk in the door as the textbooks for our, our students, um, the fourth years as well as the interns and the residents. Um, and with 43,000 cases annually, that, that provides a lot of opportunity for clinical teaching. With regard to advancements, um, we are very well known for our uh, integrated oncology, which is medical, surgical, and radiation oncology working together on cases. Several of our faculty are involved in research um, with the comparative and translational oncology signature program in which they're working with members of the, the College of Medicine, um, as well as human hospitals like, such as Wexner and the James um, to advance treatments and um, testing for cancer in animals and humans. So the work that we do here can hopefully be translated into human medicine. We also have a couple of um, clinical faculty, faculty who are involved in research around radiation treatments, trying to make them shorter and not have any um, after effects which would be amazing and hopefully then can be transferred to human medicine. We're also working on uh, studies in the treatments for uh, breast and lung cancer, 
Um, there's actually, it's a round two study right now for that treatment. Some of the other advancements that we're known for um, in our orthopedics service, uh, we do have a world-renowned surgeon who is who has completed over 2,500 uh, hip replacements, uh, double hip replacements, total hip replacements in in animals, in dogs mostly. Um, and within that service, they're also uh, looking into treatments, um, non-surgical treatments. Uh, to help with osteoarthritis, which they're also looking at translating to human medicine. Um, other advancements include our um, interventional medicine, which cardiology uses to a great extent and has worked with Nationwide Children's Hospital on some cases. Um, our neurosurgery team and our internal medicine team, the internal medicine team has made great strides in terms of uh, gastroenterology treatments for that, for kidney disease and kidney dialysis. And they are doing a lot of studies related to felines. Backing up all of those advances, of course, is uh, human grade technology. Uh, from a radiology standpoint, we, we offer a three Tesla, which is a, a machine large enough to um, do MRIs on horses. Um, so that has been a, a great plus for us, and um, the very quick 128 slice CT. Our folks at the VMC, um, this includes first through fourth year students, residents, interns, grad students, faculty, uh, use library resources, the veterinary library in particular, um, for a multitude of things. Um, it could be anything from um, research that's being done, could be for specific cases that are being seen, uh, to be able to look, look things up electronically instantaneously when they're looking for information based on a case that they're seeing. Um, it also, you know, residents, there's special reading lists for residents, there's um, guides to help with uh, preparing for the boards, uh, the licensure program. Um, there are industry guides um, for evidence-based learnings that are applied to, to cases that we see. Um, students one through four use them, use the electronic textbooks. Um, there's just, there are so many applications for the materials with the, the library. Even developing uh, coursework for students, the faculty use it for that. If money were no object, we would invest in people. Um, it's not we, that we don't have enough people to deliver the high quality care that, that we strive to do every day. Um, it's just that it would make it a little easier. <laughs> if it would allow people to operate at the top of their, of their ability um, on every level. So from staff to student to resident to faculty. Um, with 43,000 cases, it's it's a little tough uh, at times, um, especially now during the pandemic with the onslaught of, of new, newly adopted animals, which is a good thing. But um, but I think the industry as a whole was hit pretty hard. So people people would definitely be where we put the money. If you wanted to learn more, you could visit vet.osu.edu slash VMC. And our phone number is 614-292-3551.